Hi, everyone. I'm here today with Amba Alianahi, and I'm so excited. And I'll just tell you how I met her. It was interesting. I woke up one morning and I thought I might go to a yoga class. But as I lay in bed, I said, no, I don't think I'm going to yoga. And I opened up my email and there's an email from Marguerite Rigoglioso, who has come to the Congress before. And she was doing an interview with Amba. And I was like, oh, I, sh I should check that out. And I was immediately sucked in and I'm not a video person. I often just, I, I'm not good at watching videos. So I often, you know, start and turn them off, but I stayed the whole time. I was just magnetized. <laughs> and, um, so I'm so happy that she has, is going to come join us at the Fairy Congress. And she has an amazing story. I always like to ask our presenters the origin story. And she has an amazing story that, you might just get a little tidbit of today, um, but so I invite you to share, to introduce um, yourself. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for sharing that. I, I love hearing how you woke up and spirit, you know, we're, we get these messages in between that liminal space and thank you for listening to that. I'm, I'm so grateful um, to be sharing with all of you in this incredible, credible um, space in the magical, magical worlds. Um, coming up very soon. So a little bit about me, you know, the more that I am coming into my full awareness of, of who, I, who I am, who we are um, as divine beings, um, I start to realize that I, I am just a, a, an embodiment of the vibrational essence of my true soul light, my true starlight. And, um, you know, there is a story of where that original celestial starlight comes from is within our cosmic creation um, of the universe and how you know the soul traveled um, from original source through all the different magical uh, star constellations through the cosmic gardens of creation there down into the earth plane um, so i've been able to trace my lineage back into that that um, original origin of vibration where I come from and for myself it you know there's a story that went along with that for me to be able to come into my original vibration to know what that was and um, more that I understand you know is actually we are probably all from this source of origin um, so the place that I have discovered the most that I resonate with um, and the an essence of my soul that I am um, fully embodying in this physical vessel here on the earth is uh, Lyrian Syrian Elohai, um, which is original essences of angelic light of creation, um, very deeply connected to the um, original dragon mothers of creation, the, the template holders of the garden of life. So um, part of my work here, now that I am embodied, in the resonance of my soul is to just really um, activate the original light within the earth plane um, through song, sound, in connection with the, the shining ones and the, the fairy kindred ones and our magical um, realms of this earth that are, are truly awakening. So I work deeply in co-creation with, um, you know, all the flowers and the devas and um, with our, our great tree, tree elders um, to one, open up our, our vibrational field so we can start to remember our true light and to um, also assist the earth in her, her transformation back into those magical realms of creation. So I say, uh, you know, I work with the ancient tree, which to me, that means the DNA uh, of um, the human template. Um, and of the DNA of the earth, specifically through the, the tree kingdom. Um, and that's a little bit about me. That's great. <laughs> no, we're all really complex beings. And there is something about um, the stories 
because I know I've had various stories through my life of like, oh, this is who I am. And then gradually that story, it's like, oh, that's an old story. I have a new story. <laughs> so, I know. I'm like, oh, wait, I'm an infinite being. Yes. <laughs> Sh shifting the form, yeah. you know, in, in yes. the vibrations wherever we are carried. Yes. All right. Thank you. So our next question. So you came to the Guyan Congress this past January and we just, I've, well, I guess I, I and we all felt so um, just honored to have you throughout the Congress and um, just thrilled that there is that resonance, but, and we would just love for you to share what, what drew you in? What was yeah, what was that? What were you feeling that you felt called? You know, the melody of resonance that was woven um, through all the presenters and all of the, the brethren and the kindred ones who, who came, it was that heart resonance that I could really feel within the group um, that I felt really, really drawn to. And it's just an, an incredible opportunity to witness the magnificence of our each individual creation. And um, so for me, I just loved the community of, of light that was present there and um, experiencing the wisdom of some of the teachers who shared, you know, immense knowledge and wisdom of how to deeper connect with the elemental beings and the land and, and the kindred ones. So um, it was a, an incredible experience. What was in really, really magical right now is, yes, coming in person. I, I really think that that is becoming again, very, 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 very important. Um, but this opportunity that we've been given to weave in this um, you know, online web space it's almost really incredible because I see it as though when the magical kindred ones come together in this space, we are creating a vibrational resonance all around the world within the quote unquote, you know, organic web, inorganic, inorganic web, but with organic light. And so they merged two different worlds in the most beautiful way. And you can really feel the um, dimensional consciousness opening up across the planet in that way. So it, it was a, it is a very special gift to be a part of that online too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. But I agree coming in person is, it's definitely a deeper experience. Um, just because you are immersed, you are immersed in the field. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah, it's the best way to put it. So, yeah. yeah, I think that's important right now, too, is to get yeah. back together into the physical, um, physical connections. Yeah. And I guess the other thing is like you're immersed in the field with all the other humans, but also we all bring our allies and the trees in the old growth canyon. There's just some magnificent both maples um, who are so feminine and nurturing and really embracing. And then there are also some really big, tall firs who uh, embody more of the masculine sort of guardians. And there's a couple oaks who are also sort of standing in their wisdom. So I think that's the other thing about coming in person is that you get to experience all of the beings who are present, so. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so can you share, do you wanna share a little bit? You'll be sharing two workshops during the Congress, and then we're also having you do the Monday immersion for those that want to do a deeper dive. Do you want to share a little bit about? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to, to um, share with you a little bit of the <laughs> what is coming forth for our human template. So my workshops really are going to be during the weekend are going to be about opening our vibrational field. Um, and our David light body and um, different types of sound ceremonial um, containers. Um, a lot of the work that I do does include um, divine coding, um, the soul language um, of light that comes through the magical worlds to assist your light body and your DNA and awakening. Um, 
and also we'll be working with um, the flowers to assist us in finding our our true original starlight soul song. Um, so I think Saturday the um, workshop is about awakening your Davic light body and um, tuning in more to that today, which I haven't spoken with you about yet, but I'm getting a little information about a specific um, flower that would like to assist us in um, opening our Davic light body. And that flower is blue lotus. So mm -hmm. For those of you who would like to sit in ceremony with Blue Lotus to assist in awakening the Davic light body, um, we'll be drinking some of her magical, her essence and her tea and awakening her light. And from that space, the sound codes will begin to awaken. And so your Davic light body will assist you in um, bringing in more star-like codes of your, your creation into your body. It will get you into that resonant field also so you can connect deeper with your um, kindred allies to really get you into that vibrational resonance field, which, you know, I, I'm, it's, I know the field of energy is already going to be so open and potent. Um, <laughs> so I don't think it will be that challenging for for those of us to, to get into that resonance, but this workshop, um, Awakening Your Davic Light Body, will really assist in the, the true anchoring of that within the physical vessel. And wow. then, Beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I was excited to get that clarity today, um, you know, with tuning into these questions as, okay, what is it going to look like, dear <laughs> ones? And a lot of times I don't know. They like give me a, a title and then, um, you know, it's like a week before or a few days before they're like, and this is how we're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was grateful that I received that information today. Um, so for Sunday, we will be finding our um, starlight soul song um, and how that is symbiolically represented in the flower kingdom. Um, I truly believe that the flowers are the angelic devas of the earth. And so each one of us has a specific um, flower vibrational spirit within ourselves that is representing the vibrational resonance of our starlight soul. Um, we will be going on a journey through the labyrinth um, to, to find that vibrational flower and to welcome in the song of our soul from that flower presence. The idea is also that once we come out of the labyrinth, we'll begin to weave our flower songs into the garden as, as a unity, as a melody um, weaving through the garden of creation with our vibrational songs. So it's an individual um, finding your own soul song, but then also weaving that into, into the harmony with each other into the garden of life sweet uh, and beautiful yeah you know when you find that soul song it's so it's so incredible because it's like your true resonance and you start to um feel that that resonance that begins to awaken in you and being you know a um a starlight one in a world of um interesting structures and forms, um, finding this true resonance really assists you in, in moving into a different relationship with the structures and forms here on this earth. Um, yeah. Great, great, yes. And Did then, you... should I go ahead and talk about the sure. immersion? Yeah, the Monday immersion. So this is, we created these Monday immersions because the workshops during the Congress are an hour and a half, which are, it's a great amount of time given all that's happening. But then the Monday immersion is just, it's an opportunity to go a little deeper. So, yes. Oh, beautiful. Well, I am so grateful to be asked to share this um, immersion on Monday because it is truly um, the, the work that is wanting to come into the field of resonance, I guess, through my being at the most 
um, potent way possible. Um, and that is the, the tree ceremony um, that we'll be working with. Right now, um, through the weekend, I'll be tuning in to, the, to see which guardian tree wants to work with us, but specifically we'll be coming around this ancient tree and connecting deeply um, with its spirit and co-creation and entering into its original source temple of light and gathering around in circle as kindred kindred ones um, to sit in council. So we will be communing with the tree, we'll be entering into the temple of the tree. As I'm speaking, I'm feeling like it's gonna be an oak. Mm -hmm. um, and we will then be gifted in that council with all of our, our kindred ones around, physical and um, magical ones around, um, each given an opportunity to speak what needs to be spoken into the field of consciousness within the magical kingdoms. Um, so each one will be able to, each one will be able to embody who their true resonance is and, and gift, um, you know, uh, gift their medicine in that council of wisdom. Um, and that will be the, the tree ceremony. We'll also, you know, be engaging in, in drinking the medicine of that tea. So there'll be a sacred, ceremony and we'll be dancing and song and celebration. So it will be just kind of like this beautiful closing, this wrapping up of the weekend, coming together, sitting in council, um, sharing our wisdom, connecting in song and prayer and celebration at the ancient tree and then closing the sacred space. Yeah. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Yes, it is. I can, I can feel already because often these Monday immersions are so potent because we've been through sort of the crucible of the weekend and then cleansed and um, raised up. And then, yes, Monday we get to dive deep and really kind of, it's almost like, um, yes, the finishing, the finishing rinse and spin, <laughs> get ourselves <laughs> fully, fully newly embodied. Mm. Right, well, thank you so much for sharing your time with us this morning. Thank and everyone, you. so you can register at fairycongress.com. The dates are July 20th through the 24th. And we really look forward to seeing you all there. Yay! All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you.